Mr. King Hill back with another YouTube video. And we got some major trades that went down today. CJ McCollum's going to the Pacers and uh and Dominus Sabonis is going to the Sacramento Kings for Tyrese Halliburton. That's crazy, man. Let's get into it, man. I can't believe Dominus Sabonis is a king. Hello and welcome everyone to this first round coverage of the go. playoffs here on 2K Sports. In this game, we're going to see Team Ignite going up against the Windy City Bulls. Joined by Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, this is Blake Suniga. And guys, this has all the makings of it. Hold on, I'm texting somebody. Right. Exciting the finals matchup. I just keep Absolutely passing and cutting. That's how it makes it. We're excited to be here. Both these teams know the stakes are high. They're ready to give it all they have to get the championship dream alive. But this is the postseason, so it takes more than just a big effort. Two these guys are Maybe the air is heavy. I don't know how that turns. The way MP has progressed, you can see the potential that leans within it. There is it's no a bonus. Hey, all friends, yeah. Be a start. It's only a matter of when. Could be next season. Could be five. It could be a decade. But the star potential is there. Now here's Martin. Over AI, and it's AI with the rebound. And here's MP from the arc. I normally don't airball. Oh, somebody has my jersey on. Oh, yes, sir, man. Somebody has my love, man. Somebody has my jersey on. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Martin up top, covered by AI. Martin can't hit. Here's MP. It's good. Yes. The assist that time, MP. AI. Here's Martin. There's some major trees on our team. Look at this big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I kind of want to piss in the trees here because it's very hard. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. One loss, and you're out. And it's made for some exciting tournaments in the past. Any season can get hot and go all the way. I mean, you just love the wild nature of the G League playoffs. And he makes it first. And a lot of these players are feeling a ton of pressure. You know, not only is it a do or die playoff game, but they need to impress these NBA scouts as well. And there is a fine line they have to walk. I know I'm probably you going to play so for the win and only the doing win, with this team dropping 40 pieces to for you. Out a little to get some extra NBA attention. And having the IQ and of a level ball. Those that didn't spend any time in college, they'll still receive a full ride to a university. Now here is Randall. Martin outside. Randall. Martin. Ah, boys. He's a high flyer guy, especially for a power forward. He needs to be. I had this video as a boy. I might see the scholarships provided from Team Ignite. It's something that you need to be sure to add. Yeah, you know, I really like it. It's a chance to go to college if things don't work out basketball wise. It makes joining Team Ignite all that much easier and a great job from the partner universities for offering that scholarship. Here's Martin. D. McKnight with the rebound. MP on the wing. Down low. To the inside. Pass to Palmer. Over Randall. And it's Palmer missing. Windy City trailing. First quarter.
quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. And it's Randall off the drive. Good work defensively by AI. I might, there might not be a and double upload to today, guys, because I have basketball practice later. Newer teams in the league formed in 2020. God damn, that's a bad pass by me, man. Prepare top talent for the NBA. I already have the whole on eight points right now. It's on me, man. I was trying to go get the ball, but guess not. Now here's MP. He's got eight. The shot is good. Diaz making the play. And beyond the one-year select contracts on Team Ignite, the team is also home to many other G League players. The team is largely full of prospect players. However, there are vets and former college stars as well. But make no mistake, this team is here to showcase the future talent of the NBA. One more round of applause for your performers. Substitution for Windy City, Pete Ray. Alonzo Posey. Jonathan Griffin in for Team Ignite. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Posey, Bayless defending. Pass to Randolph. Over Collins. And two balls. Oh, he's not going to be ready for the pass break. And with MP, the work he's put in this season, it's easy to see the progress he's made so far. Yeah, and some of it is overt, while other parts of it have been subtle. Oh, man. Without question, MP has taken some major steps in his development during his time in the G League. Now here is Burns. Help out! Come on. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And here's MP from the arc. The second chance effort. Good board. Yeah. That's the 10th straight point they've given up. Good job, Harry It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Here's Posey. Here's Randolph. And it's Bautista with the rebound. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Really like Yeah. JR and this is yeah, how JR. move the ball. MP is solid at getting the rock to open teammates. Here's Burns. Second shot opportunity. Try to make it in. Come on, pass it. And here's MP from the arc. And another three MP. for Team Ignite. That's a nice bucket. They're uh, really playing in They really are. And even though it's not a huge game, the they end got the first the scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter team ignite on top they lead by nine and we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return all right folks we're back in the second quarter of this round Give me a breakdown of what you're seeing from MP. Well, I love everything he's doing on the offensive end. He's getting the better of the defense and finding plenty of early buckets. Well, he's off to a great start offensively, I agree. But the G League is home to some excellent... Defenders. We'll see if he has what it takes to keep it up after they've had a chance to adjust a bit. And even though good move, but not good enough. Full of prospects, they can compete with any team. You can't overlook the talent on this team. You're not doing your team any good, forcing a shot like that. Yeah, he's got to use his head. That was, that was a terrible. Choice. Low probability. Burns can't hit it. Just a slight advantage for them in the rebound department. Yeah, especially when you're scoring the ball at, at even a decent clip. They've done what's necessary to take the lead. And Team Ignite, as you said, a very capable group. Made the playoffs in the most recent bubble. Experience matters for the team. But when you have future NBA stars, it can level things out. Any year. Come on, boys. I hope all on that. Maybe even win a title. They can make plays like that in his sleep, guys. Pass to MP. Palmer 
outside Diaz. Here's MP. Bow, question mark. Good work defensively by Leslie. This is a good team we're going against. I like Here's it. Myers. He's gonna like blow us at the other game. Now Martin. He's got eight. Six on the shot clock. Outside for Leslie. And it's off from three point range. That's a look you can't pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Pass the Palmer. Back to MP. MP can't get that one to fall. You know, the G League's a great path to the NBA for those players who don't want to take the college route. It's a different experience, but the G League lets young people. You're in the G League. Do you have to still go through college? Like you stuff you like schoolwork and stuff. In a hurry. Martin can't hit. T McKnight leading. Here's MP for three. How? His touch has deserted in this quarter, guys, and I don't know if it's ever coming back. Here's Martin. Good on the ball. Okay. Night. Welcome back, everyone. It is G League postseason matchup. It's first set to get going here in the second half. What stood out to you most about MP's performance? He's definitely left his mark on this game. He's helping them out in a lot of different ways. And maybe there are areas of this game where he wants to improve a little bit. It's just overall, we've been able to see how much he has to offer at this level. Located just 25 miles outside of Chicago, the Windy City Bulls enter the Chiefs. Windy City Bowl. What a great investment Windy City has been for the Bulls organization. The close proximity makes it easy for two-way guys to shuttle between the two teams. Martin outside. It's not going to go for him. Good work defensively by AI. Hot. It's Burns on the wing. Back to Martin. To the paint. Doesn't go that time. And it's Team Ignite the other way. Here's Diaz. Here's MP, and plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. And at there's the, the foul the team against MP. MP. At the and on a stage two. like this, you can get noticed. For someone like MP, there's a lot of marketing to be done with a good performance. Oh, yes. Marketing. I mean, we're not talking about just the potential with NBA teams, but really here at the G League, local businesses, they're going to want to link up with the G League breakout star. Something these players might have back of their minds. Well, of course, many NBA players have come out of the G League, Defensive but a fair amount of coaches have gotten their start here as well. And that's a trend foul. we'll continue to see. Teams with vacancies are looking for winners at, at all levels, City, G League Colin included. Martin. I would Shooting bet two. a handful of the coaches in the league right now find their way to an NBA bench soon. Looking back at the original Windy City Bulls in their 2016-17 version, their leader in minutes was none other than Alfonso McKinney. Undrafted out of college, that Windy City season was his first year in pro basketball. McKinney, yet another G League success story, a key part of the 2019 Warriors finals team. 
Oh, one thing I love about the G League, it's used as a testing ground. Oh, man. For new rules in the NBA and the WNBA. Always interesting to see how they're looking. There's a lot of fans with G And a number of rules from the G League have been brought to the NBA. We'll take a look at the 14 clock reset, coaches' challenges. A lot of great ideas were born right here. MP, let's be defending. Be another thumbnail. Fifteen minutes. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Fifteen. All right. It in. Nice read from the power forward. AI wants to hit his guys in their spots. Textbook pass. Martin outside. Wesley outside. Side. Now to Randall. Six to shoot. Shoots. And he connects with the Johnny Randall. Check out my leg, that's a technical. They cannot afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And he needs some help as well. Mercer with the screen. Here's Palmer. Foul bar. Yes, sir. He's good take the Every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Now here's Martin. Be right on it. So it's Team Ignite now. Leading by five. Here's MP. Knocks it loose. Uh, come on, man. A big gap for defense. There's Mercer. He's covered by Randolph. Starting to lock me down. And it's going to be out of bounds. Yeah, sorry, Paul, yeah. I wish my team would cut. Not just me versus everybody. Taking care of the basketball has to be the number one topic in the huddle, I'm sure. They need to tighten things up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your dance squad. One more round of applause for your performers. Now into the lineup for your bowls. Yes, 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 yes. That's the third one. Let's just keep pretending to leave. Come on. I can play the whole game, coach, if you need me to. Yes. Offensively, and it's costing them big time. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's we've seen it a lot. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. He's gonna buy himself a ticket straight to the bench. That's love that people have my jersey on. When we on court side, so have my jersey on. That's love. Man. Pass to Martin. Randolph with it. Over Thomas. Again, the miss by the Bulls. They built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things well. You know, Brian, one of those little things has been. Good job, boys. They have come out and taken control of the glass. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your dance squad. Looking for big applause for your performers. Go, cool, man. Now into the lineup for your bowls. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter play now. Pass to Posey. And here's Martin. To end the run. Two points. Run. Threw it down with authority. He can really fly. And you combine that with some nice concentration. What? You're high. I was running. Oh, my God, dude. The hard way either, guys. He's able to play well above the rim. That makes him dangerous. Here's Griffin. 
Pass to Martin. Puts it up from 12. Team oh, on. Team Ignite leading. Thomas with the ball. Guarded by Martin. MP. Nice D. God dang it. My bad, guys. I'm not being here. Take this game serious. I don't want to lose because it's our playoff. It's the playoffs. We try to go to the championship, get my draft stock up. I got it. Oh my god, 25 years, 35 years, so dumb. I wish I had control of the team so I could bench these people, man. Now you're moving around. Gotta create space. Alright, man, coach, you better not bench me in this quarter, man. I'll get mad. We're gonna step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And welcome back as we're set to begin the fourth quarter of this G League postseason bout. What have you seen from MB so far in this one? He's getting it done out there. You can sense his confidence and passion for the game. I like what I'm seeing from him. He's definitely making a case for, what's that? Yeah, a call up. Here's MP, and he drops in Two the layup points. off glass. MP. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Hey, this made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? Two points, you're Given assist there, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside. That freed him up and made the play possible. Cut. MP, Leslie defending. And it's good for two. MP. We're seeing terrific focus from MP tonight. A young player who can just take over a game. Randall outside. Tries it from the top of the key. Two points. One minute in now to the fourth quarter. Pass to Mercer. Now here's Palmer. He's covered by Randall. Now AI. Right wing. MP. Kick out to Lawson. Five to shoot. A baseline J. Again. Two Team points. Ignite. AI. Good job. Assist now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots fit. coming That's up. A foul. First team foul. At the line for Windy City, Robert Burns. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one drops. Had to distract him. So he gets the ball. They made every free throw here in the second half. And look, Tim, you know better than anyone, that efficiency is so crucial when you're looking to overcome a deficit. And it's MP. They've had the edge of rebound all night long. None bigger than right there. And in a close game, those hustle plays can really make all the difference. Here's Burns. Diaz grabs the miss. Team Ignite with the ball. It's a five-point game. And it's AI missing. God dang it, AI! I'm cutting, and you need to pass it to me, because I'm the team leader. To the middle. Here's Leslie. Oh, and it's blocked by Mercer. Fantastic decision from Mercer. Putting himself in a great spot to come up with the next. Such a strong finisher for four gentlemen. Up high and down hard. 
exquisitely done. What a player. Yeah, that's the uncanny ability he has to find a teammate for the easy dunk in or finish by himself just like that. Diaz with it. Now Randall defending. Here's MP. Makes it off the glass. I like how MP keeps his balance in these situations. He's able to finish despite the contact. Randall outside. Two minutes remaining. All right, big bet, big bet, big bet. Very clever passing. He put the ball on a silver platter for him. Pass to Diaz. Mercer, he's covered by Randolph. For 13. Mercer, no good. The Bulls come. Outside Burns. It doesn't go for him. Good defense there by Diaz. Right side, Palmer. to Mercer. Now Diaz. Down low. Here's AI. Outside Palmer. MP. Converts on the jumper for an easy two. Shooting with no hesitation. You just have to admire MP's confidence in firing off the catch. To the paint. And two easy two points on the layup. He did so well to lead his teammate right to the ideal spot. And it's MP off the drive. Here's Mercer. Good rebound. Good rebounding, man. Good rebound, Wagner. Dang it, why are you guys passing so late? Left side, Diaz. MP. Passing is so freaking late. I think that is too much to overcome. You nailed it, Tim. There just isn't enough ticks on the clock. To get the bus going, get the plane going, whatever. And here's Team Ignite. From downtown. Burns with the rebound. Hey. Pass to Randolph. Randall. Too late. From outside, off the mark. And so the team is going to go on the winners, and they're going to be advancing to the next round. What a game. You know how amazing they must feel after coming away with that one. And they really worked hard for the win. They won this game because they stuck together and played for each other. And when you have that mindset, you're going to be successful. And give a lot of credit to the coaching staff for having a game plan and having these guys execute it. That's a testament to how much these guys respect them and want to play well for them. And that'll do it for this postseason broadcast of G League Basketball. We'll see you next time as the playoffs roll on. Until then, on behalf of Tim Swartz and Brian Banapatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, wishing you all a very good night. Oh, my chat, my drift's not going.
doing, bro? You tight? You know, you look a little tight. Bro, are you trying to get on my nerves? I'm just saying that you look tight. Golly. Look, I, I get it. All right, you are in the middle of one of the most important stretches of basketball of your life. I mean, you mess this up, you could cost yourself a life Hey, yo, you about to get kicked out of my apartment. You out of pocket, Rick. How am I being out of pocket, bro? I'm just saying you look tight. All right, you know, I'm messing with you, but you obviously Rick, mad. Rick, stop talking to me, bro. All right. All right, look, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, if you need to stay occupied, I got a couple interview opportunities for you. It could be a nice diversion. Who would? Andrew Torres and Candace Green. Now, with your schedule, you only got time for one of them, but both are great opportunities to up your profile. I'll think about it. Hey, man, good looking out. And my bad for spazzing on you. I just, I'm stressed right now. These games are huge. That's all good. You know, I don't think I've seen you like this since you were bugging out about asking Jamika Woods to prom. I mean, you were stressed then. Yo, Jamika Woods would have gotten you stressed too. Don't even front. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, look, man, I appreciate you admitting that, okay? Anytime, G. All right, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.